guys, Mark here with Walter's World, and we're in Beijing, China, in the Black Bamboo Park, my favorite kind of hideaway in the western part of the city. It's kind of by the zoo, well worth it to get away from it all, but most of the time when you're in Beijing, you don't have time to get away from it all, because there's so much great stuff to see. And that's why we have the top 10 sites for you to see when you're here in Beijing. Now the first thing you gotta do is you gotta get out of town, and you gotta go to the Great Wall. Guys, I'll be honest, seeing the Great Wall was probably the coolest experience, like a tourist scene, a tourist site experience I've had in all of my travels. It is that awesome to go to. And I'll tell you, it is a lot of work hiking up there, so if you can't walk very well, be very careful. There's a few places you can go to on the wall here in Beijing or near Beijing. One does have a you know a funicular that'll take you up or a cable car that'll take you up. That one can be very packed. So if you're gonna take a tour, ask them which one you're gonna go to, which one's better. But guys, the views, and it's not just the wall that's so cool, the setting as it goes through the mountains I mean guys it is really like you walk up there and you're like wow wow it is that cool so that's the first thing you have to do when you come here is go see the Great Wall the second thing you got to do when you're here is go see the Forbidden City this is the Imperial Palace where the Emperor stayed and it's called the Forbidden City because unless you were part of the court you couldn't go inside and you can see the palaces and the bedrooms and all these things now you can't go into the rooms but you can look at them from the outside so be careful be ready to like fight your way through to see it it is an amazing thing now it gets really packed there but only in like the central corridor kind of thing central courtyards if you literally walk like 10 meters to your right or left there's plenty of room to really take it all in because it is really a fantastic thing to do that's the second thing you have to do when you're here now the third thing you want to do when you go when you come to, to Beijing is check out Tiananmen Square now this has all the pomp and circumstance of the Communist Party and stuff like that you can see Mao's tomb is there there's the China National Museum which is kind of cool to check out but just going there and people watching and so and stuff it's really kind of a cool thing to do I uh, get your picture next to Mao in the background where they founded the Chinese Communist Party here where they founded the the People's Republic of China, all kinds of stuff. Now, the fourth thing you want to do when you go here is you want to go to the northwest of the city and go to the Summer Palace. This is obviously was the Summer Palace of the Emperors. Very cool, a man-made lake, man-made hill. It's all part of the kind of Feng Shui kind of thing. You go there, you have the pagodas, you have the walks, this kind of I don't know, really relaxing feel. And you can understand why the emperor went there in the summer because it is a beautiful place to go. Now the fifth place you wanna go, again, going to the emperor, he really had it good. You have the Temple of Heaven. Now this is a temple that was only used once a year, kind of like a good harvest kind of thing. So the emperor came once. So this huge park complex you can go to, really nice and relaxing, watch people doing their Tai Chi and all kinds of stuff. Pay the extra fee to go up into the actual temple and walk around. And they have this one place where you can go, it's like an echo, cor the echo corridor. You stand in the middle of where the emperor would speak and you would hear yourself reverberate back on yourself so you feel like you're a really powerful voice. So that's kind of a cool thing to check out when you're there. The sixth thing you want to do when you come here is go to the Lama Temple. And the Lama Temple, I mean, there's a, I mean it's like a 20 meter tall gold uh, gold Buddha in there. It's really cool with all the monks and everything like that. So if you want to get a temple complex in, that's what I definitely recommend. And what's cool, right by there, you have Ghost Street. And at night, that's a great place to go eat, like hot pot or barbecue. Some really great food on Ghost Street, well worth checking out. Now, the seventh place to check out is the Beihai Park. This is the Imperial Gardens that were by the Forbidden City. You have to pay a small fee to go in, but you go in there and it's kind of like here, you know. You can take the boat rides, you can get a little ride around on your, in your own little boat kind of stuff with the family. Uh, you can have all kinds of nice stuff there. There's a huge, the nine dra I mean basically it's a huge wall with nine dragons on it. There's actually hundreds of dragons, but it's nine main dragons. There's some really cool stuff to see there. A few temples. You go on the island there to see those things. And it's a really kind of fantastic place. Nice hideaway if you're in the very center of town. Because I like I like the Bamboo Park because where it's by where I live. But in the center of town, Beihai Park is a really nice place to check out. Now, number eight on our list is going to visit some of the markets. Now, it's the if it's the Yashu Market to go just clothes shopping and haggle because some people love to bargain and you're going to have to bargain here. That's how it works. Okay, you're going to have that, or you can go to the tons of malls or the night markets. You know, or you want to go Wang Fun Jin, the like shopping street there. But there's so many cool markets around town. Definitely check some of those out. Also, number nine on the list, you go out to the Ming tombs. Now, there's 13 tombs. Most likely, you're going on a tour that'll take you to one or two, and you see where they are. Now, the tombs here is there's like a kind of a praying area beforehand, but then there's a huge dirt mound because they built the tombs inside the mound so they couldn't find where the emperors were buried. But it's kind of a cool experience to go to. We checked out the ones here by Beijing. Very nice. 
okay? And then the 10th thing you want to do is visit the hutongs. See how the people live where there is no wa running water and stuff like that. It is kind of a really interesting experience. Great food there. That's you know, Take your rickshaw ride there. All kinds of great stuff. So those are the top 10 things to do when you're here in Beijing. It is a fantastic city. If you want to learn about things you're not going to like about it though, we do have the five things you're going to love and hate about visiting Beijing. Five things you love and hate about visiting China. Guys, the, pit, the pushing, the spitting, the toilets, stuff like that. We have it all on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter and Facebook and we appreciate all your likes and subscriptions. Bye from Beijing, China.